Hey, what's going on everybody? On today's episode, I'll be coating my garage floor uh, using this uh, Eagle, Eagle Armor Seal. So first thing I want to start out with is just by stating that I had to go ahead and absolutely mop this floor uh, yesterday. And even that, I couldn't get everything up, but uh, and I don't think it'll show up on camera. But what ended up happening was over the time of this garage being up, and it's only been up for a month, so I haven't had like any oil or anything on it. But what has happened is when it rains, the... Uh, mud and this things would back up in here so what ended up happening is there'd be a lot of mud i'm all in this area and again i went and tried to uh, mop it up but what ended up happening was i couldn't get it all up but if you look at the floor it's a lot of um the mud all around but what i'm hoping is that when i seal it i'm hoping that it kind of peels like picks up the mud and kind of gives like a little brown tint and just makes it look more um it's, it's a certain color we actually had a we had a floor um, like that one time that had like these different uh, patterns in it, but I'm just trying to make it, I'm hoping that it doesn't really uh, come out to be too uh, just plain. I'm, I'm looking for that, that textured pattern um, look. So again, the coating with Armor Seal today, um, Eagle Armor Seal. I saw a YouTube video on another product um, by this company and after doing more research, I found out that they have um, this Armor Seal, which is supposedly a little bit more um, durable than the, uh, than the uh, water sealant that I saw. And the reason why I'm doing this today, or in general, is because one, I know I'm gonna be working on cars and things here. I know it's gonna be oil on the floor, um, you know, oil, um, dirt, um, grime, and, and anything else. And it just makes it a little bit easier to, to clean it with, the, um, with, with it being sealed than uh, just trying to wipe off uh, concrete. I know y'all have all seen dirty concrete before. So that, that's the goal that we're trying to um, stop having. And I'm trying to do that now before I fill this thing up and don't can't do it later. So speaking on this product, this is an alternative to epoxy. Everybody knows about epoxy. You've all seen the floors with the flakes and stuff. And for my budget right now, it's a little bit too expensive. So this right here, this one bucket, this five gallon bucket, is supposed to be enough to do my entire um, garage, which is, this is 1200 square foot. So this should be enough to do it. Um, and that's covering that amount. And it only cost, I think it was $175. So again, it's just, we're just trying to get this thing on the DIY approach. I know I do is if I can find a way to do it um, a little bit cheaper, but also get similar results, if not better, I'm gonna try it. So that's what we're doing here. Um, I did have to pick up, don't don't mind the wire, please don't mind the wire. I did have to pick up a um, a can, I think this is an 18 inch um, roller, a roller and whatnot, and I'm gonna, again, apply this entire um, coating with the roller. I have seen other people use other um, tools, sprayers and whatnot, but I think I can get this thing done with just the roller, so. I, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. And we'll see how, see how it ends up looking. All right, so here is the first coat on. I started back here in this block, went to that block all the way over there, then here, then I kind of worked my way down and walked out. So as you can see, it's still kind of wet in this first block, and the back is pretty much dry. I, um, I gotta wait for this thing to dry for four hours before I can then apply the second coat and then I should be done. Um, the stuff went down pretty easy, but I'd say from here, I got about half the can left. So I do think that uh, this armor coat, I mean, I'm sorry, the armor seal will be pretty much done by the time I finish on um, this entire thing. But that's what, that's what it is. Um, once this thing dries up, on my next clip, I, I'll actually walk on and kind of show you what, what it is, but that's, that's it. And, and I was actually supposed to get um, some application videos, but it kind of just escalated. Sorry. Yeah, so I was supposed to get some um, application videos of me actually putting it on, but my dad showed up 
and we kind of just ended up just working it's like hey did you um have you tried it and i was like no nah, not yet so we went out started a little spot in the back and before you know it we just went block by block by block and the stuff kind of goes down really really smooth but you got to make sure to go back over it again and make sure that you don't have any um any of the uh any build up because we got a build up then it's going to dry and look kind of hazy so like i said that's the first coat um once it dries a little bit more i'll come back out and show you how it looks hey y'all so i'm out here I'm about to get started and get ready to apply the second coat and so i just wanted to give y'all you know like a little more or less like a close-up as i keep saying i don't know how this camera picks this stuff up but it's like a real it looks like a satin look almost when you get up on it um and this has been about four hours since i applied this and it does feel pretty much um dry to the touch and i am ready to put this second coat um, this is what I was talking about when you apply this stuff. And this is like the first section I did. You really got to make sure that you get this um, this buildup handled. I had other spots around here that was like that. But if you leave it like this, that's how it's going to end up drying. So that's one thing that I have learned. When you see those buildups, make sure that you go back over it with your roller and just kind of um, flatten that out. So then it's um, it's not caked up like that. I'm hoping that I have enough time to catch those on um, this second coat. But if not, it's fine. It's against the wall. It's not really out in the open. But man, like you can see, like I said, just one coat. It's a little shine. Um, but I wasn't really going for glossy again. I just need something protective down here that's going to keep it from when I drop oil and whatnot on the, um, on the garage. So I'm about to put the um, product back in here and get the rolling. I got to say... Now, I'm not saying get these, but what I used on this was just some standard, um, some standard, well, not standard, but just some golf shoes. I know they make actual spikes, but by the time I looked into the spikes, it was too late. Um, Amazon would have had to get it to me, um, what, like tomorrow or something. So I just used some spikes that I had, some golf shoes. I see people use cleats and stuff, but I mean, so far, I'm not... Um, I'm not mad at the result. If you wanted to just go with one coat, this is what one coat will get you. And like I said, this one's still drying, but the rest of the garage, you can kind of see, it's like a little, it's a little, a little, little shine. But we're gonna put this second, second coat on now. And hopefully um, in doing that, um, they'll just be able to be a little more um, protective against like the gasoline and stuff that will likely fall on it while I'm out here. So. I'm gonna get back to working and then we'll pick up and I'll show you what that second coat looks like. So again, I just wanted to get, I could not show me doing it. So like I said, I just wet, wet this up and I just kind of push it on. Um, I'm not really worried about like when I paint, um, like if I was like paint a wall, I'm not really worried about the coverage. I'm just worried about get this stuff down. Um, once I get all this on, you see like the white, the uh, white buildup. I'm going to come back over and that's the advantage of using these spikes. I can actually just walk in the product and um, really get the coating good. But basically I kind of, and I am noticing that since this is the second coat, the first one, a lot more of the product actually went into the, uh, went into the pores of the concrete. So this, this time around, sorry, I hit the wrong, hit the button. So this time around, I'm noticing that a lot more is sitting on top of the surface. So I don't think that I'll be using as much of the product for my second coat, just because the first one, the pores of the concrete, uh, pretty much soaked it all up. So uh, again, I'm just getting the stuff on here. And the, when I first did it, I really went down, I should have just did the same thing. I don't know if y'all can hear me through them jets. Basically, I just go down the side, kind of get the product spread out, and I just work it in. And it's hard to do this. I'm gonna get back to uh, actually working and doing a good job instead of filming. So.
All right, so we got these three. I'm on this one over here applying. I literally got, I probably should got one more gallon of that. This stuff did not spread like I thought it was. But anyway, so all I'm doing still, just doing this. And then um, once I finish this one, I'm probably gonna come to this section because there'll be more uh, vehicle traffic. As long as I got these two um, squares right here covered, I'm pretty fine. Like over there, it's gonna be just minor foot traffic. But regardless, um, what happens is I do that, come over here, then I come back over here with the dry roller and I just get like all the little air bubbles out, um, all the white haze, and then I just keep moving. So that's all. I am at the end. <laughs> like, I literally got nothing else in here. And I got this one corner. Again, this will mainly be foot traffic. So I basically got everything where the, all, most of all the cars and stuff would be. Oh, that's coated. So I'm good. Over here, I'm just going to take the last little bit I got. Probably put a little extra at the door when you come in, or at least on a walkway. And I just make it work. A you know, table will probably be here, so it's, it is what it is. I'll probably make an order for one more gallon because they do say that um, if you if you end up needing more, you can just apply it as you need it. So it's not like it needs to color match or anything. So, so I put a little more protectant down here where the door is and maybe a little walkway or something. All right, so we just finished up applying. I went through and got all the hot spots back there again. Um, now we're just gonna let it dry. Um, it says I can walk on it in four hours, so in four hours I'm gonna come back and we're gonna give it a give it a see, see what the final product is. We saw what one coat was, now we're gonna see what two coats is, and we actually technically can still see what one coat is compared to the two, I guess. So um, check back in with y'all then. Okay, y'all. So we out here. It's been drying up throughout the day, and this looks like it. It's uh, it feels good. Like I said, it, it's not super glossy, but it's it's like satin. At least that's what they call it. Semi-gloss, maybe or glossy, whatever it is. It doesn't matter because it's gonna get the job done. Um, I gotta say, it definitely looks really good in person. Um, I can't wait to see how it is when I drop my first bit of oil on it and I can just wipe it up with a rag and don't even see anything like that's that's the little that's the um, that tells me that it was worth the investment um, this product I could have got a little bit more as y'all saw um, but it did the job um, and it went on fairly easy for somebody who hasn't done anything like that before uh, it took it took a little bit to get into your groove but once you figured it out um, it worked great um, like I said, I'm overall just happy. So this was one of the big tasks. Uh, once I got to let this thing dry off for about a couple of days. Uh, once that's done, then I can start bringing in um, like my toolbox and stuff and just emptying out my other garage. And I'll finally start to see how this is going to look. So like I said, I definitely appreciate, definitely appreciate uh, you for checking out my video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll be back with you with more. Bye.